Democrat is switching parties to run against Sam Page for St. Louis County Executive this November. Just two hours ago, Republican Party officials picked Mark Montavani to jump into the race, and our political editor, Mark Maxwell, was there. Mike and Ann, it's a rematch under a Republican rebrand. Mark Montavani ran against Sam Page before in the Democratic primary in 2020, finished runner-up in that race. This time, he'll draw from Democrats and Republican voters and sees a path to victory if he can cobble together a broad enough coalition. Party officials and voters, some of whom supported Pinner in the primary, expressed anger and frustration that she quit so suddenly and put them in this position to pick a new candidate. The silver lining, though, it might give Manavani the element of surprise. If Page had trained his sights on little-known Catherine Pinner, he would have to recalibrate for a much more organized campaign, a, well, a more well-funded campaign from Manavani. The Page campaign today highlighting that he voted for Joe Biden, but in his stump speech to that committee, Manavani tried his hand at some Trump-style insults and nicknames. And sleepy Sam sluggish ways are anesthetizing our community. Sleepy Sam puts our community to sleep. He's got the energy level of a South American sloth, and we can't allow this to continue. He has become the lapdog of the defund the police crowd, and we've got to change the leadership of the county now. I've just uh, switched uh, parties uh, recently. I hope that the, uh, my friends uh, in the Democratic uh, Party know that I'm not abandoning them. I'm the same guy. I have the same views. I have the same opinions that I always have. The crowd ate up some of those slogans tonight. This pick, though, showing that Republican officials are putting strategy over ideology. They expect their voters to come out and support anyone but Sam Page. But now Manavani has just a few weeks to try and make his case to independents and Democrats. And, Mark, we saw Shemed Dogan in the crowd there. So how is he reacting to all of this? Because he's the one who lost out to Pinner. Yeah, the House Republican with a longer political resume. Obviously, Dogan was stunned and disappointed he lost. He discussed some of that with us tonight. I asked one Pinner voter in the crowd why she voted against him. She replied, wasn't he for all that critical race theory stuff? He wasn't. Dogan declined to jump back in, though, throwing his weight instead behind Manavani now, along with Page's primary challenger, Jane Duker. She was there tonight, too. All the anti-Sam Page forces now teaming up to try and take him down eight weeks from tomorrow night in the general election. All right, Mark, thanks. A 